Hello, this is Dr. Armand again, uh, bringing you another lecture on X-ray crystallography. Today I'm going to show you how to mount a crystal onto the diffractometer. So behind me is the diffractometer that we use. I've already put the crystal on the uh, nylon loop. And so before we get started, I just want to show you a few components of the X-ray diffractometer. So here it comes into view. Let's see. All right. So over here, this is the detector that detects the scattered X-rays from the crystal. And then in the center is where we mount the uh, crystal on. It's called the goniometer. And we'll talk more about the goniometer a little bit later. And then next to the goniometer, this cone-shaped looking apparatus is actually called the optics, which is a fancy what we refer to as a collimator. And then behind the collimator is the, inside this uh, type of uh, contraption here, this is the monochromator. And then this is the uh, source on the very far, uh, I guess it would be right on the screen. So the x-rays are generated in this source. The monochromator selects the appropriate wavelength. The collimator or optics focuses it into a, a coherent beam. And then we have the crystal that's on the goniometer and the x-rays get diffracted and hit the uh, detector. Now this is a copper source so that means copper is the target used to generate the x-rays that we use for this diffractometer. We also have a molly source behind it as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to mount the crystal. So let me bring that up. So I've, met, I've put a crystal onto the uh, goniometer head. And so right now I have the uh, crystal in the center of that target. And so what we want to do is, is when we rotate the crystal 90 degrees, we want to make sure that that target is always on the crystal. So let me see if I can highlight the crystal a little bit better. You see right there in the center of the target is the middle of the crystal. So you, will, you always want to make sure that the target is in the center of the crystal. And this is at zero degrees. So this is what we call the phi axis. The phi axis rotates the crystal. And so now that we have it centered at zero degrees, we're going to move it to 90 degrees. So perpendicular to the current position. So when we come down here, we click 90 degrees and it rotates the crystal. Now, of course, it's going to get out of alignment because we haven't centered the crystal. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the crystal is actually thinner than the nylon loop that the crystal is mounted on. So what you want to do is just kind of center the target in the middle of the nylon loop. So right about there. And then when we click, now that we've centered it at 90 degrees, we're going to go back to zero degrees. And you want to make sure that the target is always on the middle of the crystal. So you see at zero degrees, it didn't move much. Now we go back to 90 degrees. You see that the target is always on the crystal. Now once you're satisfied that the crystal has been aligned at zero and 90 degrees, what you can do is you can just check at 180 and 270. Just check it. Don't change it because you'll mess it up. But if we go to 180, you see it's a little bit off, but don't mess with the uh, alignment. Then we go to 270. But you notice that the target is always on the crystal. So 270 is good. We go back to 180. And we go to 90. And we go to zero. And that's how you mount a crystal onto the diffractometer. You set it, you put it in a what we call a nylon loop. So this loop here is a nylon loop. And inside the loop, 
we have a very thin film of what's referred to as peritone oil, which is a very thick, sticky substance. And then the crystal attaches to that oil, and then under the cold temperature, it's like a glue. So the crystal doesn't move. Also, you want to take note that your crystal is uniform in shape and clarity. So there's no cracks, there's no fractures. It's a very good looking crystal. And then you start at zero degrees on the phi axis, you align it up and down, left and right. Once you center it, you go to 90 degrees and you do the same thing. So you keep on going between zero and 90 degrees until the crystal is uh, centered. So when you move it from zero to 90, it doesn't change its position. That means it's been aligned correctly. So we go back to zero. And now that uh, the crystal has been aligned, the next thing we will do is what's called a unit cell indexing, which I'll show you in the next video. So for uh, this concludes this video on mounting a crystal. And until next time, uh, Dr. Armand signing off. Mm -hmm.